For my uh, hand, I'm using a uh, steel wire, I think. I don't know. I think it might be aluminum. I don't know. It's colored. Oh, yeah, it is. It is aluminum, and it's colored uh, black. And uh, this is the uh, product here that I got on Amazon. And uh, it's strong enough to hold its shape pretty good for a small piece. Anyway, just going to clip it, clip, clip me off a, a bit. And I'm going to make an armature for the uh, hand. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just trying to do the palm of the hand. He's going to be holding a writing cord. I was going to do the uh, lariat in his hand, but it would just weigh down. The weight of the lariat would uh, cause it to droop the hand. And uh, so I decided to put a quirt in his hand instead. Now, it doesn't look like much right now. It will eventually, but... Anyway. Got to start it sometime. And, uh... I'm doing the hand right now. And the wrist. Now, we, this is not a finger. This is a quirt. It's a rawhide quirt. Of woven rawhide and uh, he'll be holding it in his hand it'll have a knob at the bottom end of the uh, quirt I gotta have something for the fingers and the thumb to wrap around, so that's why I'm doing that right now. Okay, I'm I've mounted it on my jig because I can have a little more control on uh, the hand and I'm not smashing it accidentally or Anyway, I'm just trying to get this worked out with the knuckles. I might as well tell you now, I won't be here tomorrow or Friday. Tomorrow I've got to go get my driver's license renewed. And Friday I normally take off. So, I'll try to get this hand and a bit more done before I quit today.
now it's time to put the hand in. Let's see, I better get my other pliers. All right, now it's time to uh, put the uh, glove on his hand. Now, he would have a loop that the uh, of leather that would be attached to the end of the uh, quirk to keep it in his hand, or if he broke loose of it, it would uh, stay on his hand, and that's what I'm attaching here. There'd be a knot at the uh, where this leather strap would tie. I noticed that it was uh, typical of some, not necessarily all, quartz. few wrinkles in the glove. Now he's got two flaps of uh, leather that when he snaps it, it makes a noise. And, uh, it it kind of goes with the uh, action of the cowboy too, so I think that works good. All right, I'm going to paint this in about a second. Okay, I'm just finishing up painting the glove. I think that looks pretty good now. All right, I'm going to work on his leg and his chap. And that's about the only thing I can do today because when I get to the doing the mane of the horse, that's going to take a, a lot of design and try and error, trial and error. Um, I've also got some wrinkles to do in the uh, inside part of that uh, sleeve. But uh, I'll be right back. I've got to go clean my brush. And uh, it is a wa water-soluble paint, so it uh, can be cleaned. Now, I originally made the cowboy and the saddle out of uh, monster clay, but since I painted it, I can just use my regular clay to patch those areas that need to be patched. Okay, since I sculpted this piece, or the cowboy anyway, in clay, I mean monster clay, I can, and I painted it to match the clay that I'm using, I can actually repair parts that need to be repaired, like uh, here.
and it doesn't affect anything. I want to point out one thing. I painted this yesterday, and if I even touched it, it would move because it's it, it's very soft and warm in a warm climate. But right now, I can tap it, and I'm putting a little pressure on it enough that it would have moved it in in uh, before I painted it. But because I got paint on it, it actually becomes a little stronger, which is a good thing. Right, I'm going to put the uh, tax on the uh whoop on the shaft all right i gotta push clay in here All right, that's going to have to do it for today. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. I'm really happy the way the quirt worked out. And I'm happy the way this turned out as well. Still got a little more work to do on it. I have to do the main next week and uh, finish up this bottom part of this legging here, this uh, shap. And then I've got conches to put on both sides. And pockets on both sides. And then, of course, the main, like I said before. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Uh, and I'll see you next week. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.